awesome. What an amazing person. Push on the way. Dude, just like. Did he just live Dude, through just a C4 it. blast? Yep. Wait, what? Oh, I <laughs>so dudes welcome to another operator how to today we're going to be taking a look at thunderbird team rainbows weekly bingo tournament arranger or that math teacher that doubles as the tech person in the school with the projector and shit and nobody else for some reason can use it take your pick this video is come on okay that's actually a lot better this video is sponsored by keeps you see that guy you see him? There are many yogurt <laughs> He didn't use keeps. He used a million dollars for like hair transplant stuff or something. But you don't have to do that. You can just use keeps instead. If you are a dude with hair loss, and if you play Rainbow Six Siege, you probably are one. There are many advantages to using keeps. One of them, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go into a doctor's office. Everything is from the convenience of your mouse and keyboard. Just like when you play Rainbow Six Siege. Isn't that funny how that works? Keeps' products are FDA approved. I don't know why that wouldn't be a selling point. It's best to act sooner rather than later when it comes to hair loss. Go to keeps.com slash Gregor and you will get 50% off of your first order if you so choose to. This link that you were looking at is also in the description of this video. So check it out. And I would once again like to say thank you Keeps for sponsoring this video. Oh. The front. Oh. Oh. Uh, the skin. Yeah, it's the Chinese skin. Stop being so good, Gregor R6. I'm not good! <laughs> You're not cheating. good. Obviously you are. T-Bird is a three-speed roamer equipped with the K-Kona station. A TV projector that fires a little health nugget at teammates and enemies alike who get within its effective radius. She's also got access to Finca Spear on defense, which is a concept rifle made by a college student in Russia who looks exactly like somebody who would make a concept rifle as their graduation project. She can also use the Spaz-15 if she wants, and she can probably get away with it because she also has access to a newly buffed Bearing 9 that now doesn't have nearly as much recoil as it used to have. If the Bearing 9 recoil is too hard for you, you also have the Chinese Q929. She wants... she wants one of those. Well, yes, she wants... she wants everything on that list, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, multiple things. Oh, here we go. Okay, number one. This is the most diverse procurement list I've ever read. Number two. Why does she need a Chinese handgun? Oh, come off it, it's not... Legion and Ying? They have more than just one bloody pistol. I mean, surely you- Yeah, Harry, they do. And I never asked that question because you seem to have it figured out for some reason. I actually don't know why they have Chinese equipment either. Doesn't the Hong Kong police use the same shit everyone else use? I mean, what, what the fuck? You want me to send them a nice email? It's not one weird gun, Harry. It's actually two weird ones. I don't even know what a Spear 308 is. Okay, so that story is a bit more- Complicated? Yeah, that's my point, Harry, is that it's complicated. I mean, how do you guys even get Chinese ammo? Is there something you're not telling me? It was Aurelia, I didn't know, okay? I just came in, and they had the supply chain set up. And I don't fuck with what they already had set I up. I had a sign here because of this crap, okay? I had to meet with DOD, MI5, oh, half no, of Europe. meetings! How horrible meetings! I run the most important police super team on it's the planet, not and have my job. I'll I come back tomorrow. Power. A Russian design student project, an Italian shotgun, a Japanese take on the Israeli mini Uzi. Yes, I know, it's not exactly an Israeli mini Uzi, you gun nerds. It's a f***ing joke. And a Chinese handgun. Call her Mrs. Worldwide. Thunderbird's got access to the Spear 308, which is pretty good for a defending weapon. It has 42 damage, which is on the higher end of defending primaries, and the recoil is basically non-existent, but its rate of fire is quite low meaning you can't really spray and pray in the general direction of the head for this thing to work. You have to be a bit more precise with it. Let's take a second to compare the recoil patterns of assault rifles on defense. The spear is good for lawn to medium lawn range engagement. She's in piano, what the fuck? When did she get a piano? In what? piano, in piano, on stage. Dead. 
New bug, new bug. New bug, new bug. Dead new bug. Carrier, carrier. But for everything else, you should let loose with the bearing nine. We, we got, ooh. I didn't mean to do that. Dead Nice. Oh, assuming you're on PC, the recoil on this thing is basically negligible compared to how it used to be. It has a fire rate of 1100 and pretty okay damage on top of that, so the bearing will get you plenty of headshots and maybe even body damage kills. It's not an SMG-11, but it won't chew through its magazine as fast and ensures you don't have to reload quite as much if you hit your shot. Thunderbird can also use Cav's Spaz-15, which for any free speed is a fun cheese gun to use in close quarters, and the magazine allows you to reload it very quickly without having to put every shell in the chamber like a conventional shotgun. You can get away with a lot of cheeky plays with the Spaz-15, since T-Bird also has the Bearing 9 to back her up in the event she has to take a gunfight that's far away. On sites that are very dependent on staircase control, sometimes I'll bring the shotgun unironically. Uh, I'll this. I got diffuser. She's also got C4, you know how that works. You can figure out how that might be useful for a free speed with really good guns. I don't think people will be using impact grenades on her much at all, or the Chinese pistol. The Kokona station comes in a set of three. It can be deployed on the ground, and will automatically heal teammates and enemies alike that get close enough to it. Much like how a Jaeger ADS will automatically target grenades that get within its effective radius. Why does it heal enemies? I have no idea. Probably as a balancing mechanic, to keep people from placing them too aggressively. When pooled together, the healing Kona stations can basically take a one-shot defender and heal them all the way back to full health instantly, which is a lot stronger than what Doc can do. A single Kona station can heal 30 health points. So if there's three of them together, well, I hope you paid attention in math class. Did that 35 seconds of no editing feel like forever? Well, that's how it's gonna feel while you wait on the Kona station to recharge. It can also provide an overhealing effect. When the Kona stations are all pulled together, it's basically a recall fountain from League of Legends that instantly gets you back to full health. What is this guy doing? Someone explain. Also, why didn't I hear him at all? Anon, how'd you not hear this guy? I heard him. Did you say anything? I was in the middle of a bit. I hate you. <laughs> a comedian, huh? I'm gonna go heal myself. You're lucky I have a Kikona station. Downed attackers or defenders can get within the effective radius of the gadget for a revive as well. Like I said, if you get all the Kona stations together, that's basically one shot to full health every 35 seconds. That's pretty good for anybody on your team, including yourself. I would have lost this gunfight without my healing station. Dude, Maverick. Yeah, yeah, he was outside last night, last scene on the hill. Oh. Now, there are some disadvantages to this gadget compared to Doc. For one, Doc can heal from far away, as long as he has line of sight, which is very useful because it means the defender doesn't have to move and endanger themselves for a heal. Doc does not have his heals on a cooldown either, aside from the stim pistol reload. Additionally, if Doc wants to play solo on a spot and hold it, in the event he dies, he doesn't drop his stim pistol for the enemy to pick up and use it on themselves. If Thunderbird plays aggressively with her Kona station and dies or loses map control, she just helped the enemy, which is obviously, well, not good. What are T-Bird's advantages? Gun! Oh. And she can heal a lot more in a shorter amount of time. So, in order to avoid the Kona stations getting abused by the enemy, they should probably get placement deep within your territory. Unless you and your teammates want to work something out, then go for it. But I don't think most randoms will get behind putting all three of your Konas on Clubhouse Rafters and letting the attackers get free buffs to take their gunfights with if you lose garage control. What is her role then? Well, Thunderbird is purely a healing operator. She doesn't bring denial of any kind. Her three speed rating lends her to the ability to roam, obviously, along with the good guns and the C4. Thunderbird is a great example to me of a ranked star operator. Fun for ranked to run around and frag with, and you'll probably do pretty okay, but in competitive settings, unless the team has something very specific in mind, I doubt she'll get as much mileage as a Jaeger, a Mute, or a Smoke. Doc is essentially non-existent in competitive because of that whole one-shot headshot thing. If you have a full stack of people that coordinates their operator picks, sometimes there's just not a point in bringing T-Bird. You'll need a Cade for the hatch, a Jaeger for your smoke and prep, a mute for the walls. If you got all your bases covered though, pick T-Bird and go ham. Or you could just bring a vigil. It's up to you. 
She's not a bad operator. She has great guns. She can heal one-shot teammates back to full health instantly. That's pretty good. That's all you really need to know about Thunderbird. Hear you. What? There's a guy in the room with me. No audio on that. Loading one, new one more in the hall. At the default. No, no, no. Detonating. Uh, protected. Here, right here. I promise I'm trying to get into a more regular streaming schedule. I'm just really bad at it. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Greg Havener, twitter.com slash Greg Havener for updates. I really wish I could private my R6 tab. Deuces. <laughs>